Hello everyone. Today, we're diving into something really fascinating that sheds light on the future of the automotive industry, and more specifically, the EV space. Every year, Gartner releases what is called the Digital Automaker Index. This index evaluates car manufacturers around the world, not just based on how many vehicles they sell or how flashy their cars look, but on something far more important, their software capabilities. In other words, it measures how advanced these automakers are in developing software-defined vehicles, how successful they've been in rolling out digital features, and how effectively they've managed to monetize these capabilities. This is not financial advice. Please do your own research. Now, here's the big story this year's rankings are out, and guess what? NEO has just secured the number two spot globally. That's right NEO has climbed up to second place trailing just behind Tesla. And what's even more impressive is the pace at which NEO is catching up. Their score jumped by a massive 8% compared to last year, while Tesla's score only rose by 3%. That gap is narrowing quickly, and if the trend continues, NEO could very well claim the top position next year. Let's break this down in detail. The Gartner Digital Automaker Index is essentially an annual scoreboard for innovation. It identifies which automakers are truly leading the transformation towards software-driven vehicles. As we all know, the future of cars is not just about engines or batteries, it's about software. Features like advanced driver assistance, autonomous driving, seamless connectivity, over-the-air updates, and even AI-driven safety systems all come from software innovation. So, let's talk about Tesla first. Naturally, Tesla has been dominating this space for years. They've set the standard in terms of digital integration and software excellence. For instance, Tesla's newest Model 3 isn't just a car, it's practically a robot on wheels. It can deliver itself to your location, be it your home or another set destination. That's a remarkable achievement in itself. Tesla has also been aggressively pursuing full self-driving capabilities. And while it's not yet perfect, it's one of the closest in the industry to achieving full autonomy, where you could literally sit back in the rear seat, relax, and let the car do all the work. But here's where NEO comes in. According to Gartner, the difference between Tesla's software score and NEO's software score is now just 2.9%. That's a razor-thin margin when you think about how dominant Tesla has been historically. What's more, NEO's improvement of 8% year-over-year signals that they're not just catching up, they're innovating at a faster pace than Tesla. This leads us to an important prediction. If Tesla continues to grow slowly and NEO continues with rapid growth, by the next ranking cycle, NEO could overtake Tesla as the number one automaker for software capabilities. That would be a seismic shift in the EV and auto industry. To understand why NEO is climbing so fast, let's look at what they've been doing. NEO has invested massively in research and development R&D. They've focused not only on making cars with sleek designs and competitive battery performance, but also on building digital ecosystems that enhance user experience. Their cars are equipped with advanced safety systems, intelligent cockpit features, and AI assistance that personalize the driving experience. One standout example is their tire burst feature. If you're driving at 130 km per hour and suffer a blowout, the car can autonomously guide itself safely off the road. This is groundbreaking, potentially life-saving technology, made possible purely through NEO's software innovations. Now let's take a step back and look at the broader rankings in the index. After Tesla and NEO, in third place, we find Xiaomi, scoring 72.5%. Following them is Xpeng at 63.9%, Li Auto at 60.1%, and Rivian at 51.3%. Then we have Geely at 47.4%, Lucid at 46.5%, and General Motors close behind at 46.3%. Hyundai Kia managed to climb significantly this year, improving their score by an impressive 33%, landing at 45.5%. BYD, despite its massive sales volume, sits at only 42%. This tells us something important volume doesn't equal innovation. 
even though BYD sells far more vehicles than NEO, its software score is nowhere near NEO's. Similarly, legacy automakers like Mercedes-Benz 37%, BMW 36%, and Volkswagen 34% are lagging far behind in terms of digital capabilities. When you compare their numbers to NEO's 76.9%, the difference is staggering. These traditional giants simply haven't managed to adapt fast enough to the software-defined future. On the other hand, NEO's momentum is undeniable. Their continuous push into AI, autonomous driving, and connected services has given them a significant edge. And it's not just about features, it's about creating an ecosystem. Think of their battery as a service buzz model and battery swap stations. These aren't just physical services. They're deeply tied to software and digital integration. Every time you swap a battery, data is collected, analyzed, and fed back into their ecosystem to improve performance and customer satisfaction. Meanwhile, companies that are not keeping up like Renault Group, whose score dropped by a whopping 32% are being left behind. This decline signals a lack of innovation and stagnation in digital transformation. And that's a dangerous place to be in today's EV market. Now, let's also consider the bigger picture. Without companies like NEO pushing the boundaries, the EV market would stagnate. Tesla started the software revolution, but NEO is the one pushing everyone else to innovate. Many of the recent R&D pushes we're seeing from legacy automakers are direct responses to NEO's breakthroughs. Whether it's safety innovations, intelligent features, or new forms of customer experience, NEO is forcing the industry to stay competitive. So, to wrap this up, what does the Gartner Digital Automaker Index really tell us? First, it confirms that Tesla is still number one, but its lead is shrinking. NEO is firmly in second place, with an impressive 8% improvement over last year, and the gap between Tesla and NEO is now just 2.9%. At this rate, NEO could realistically become the global leader in software-defined vehicle capabilities by next year. Second, it shows us that the EV race is no longer just about batteries, range, or horsepower, it's about software innovation. Automakers that fail to innovate digitally are seeing their scores drop, like Renault, while those investing heavily in software, like NEO, are climbing rapidly. And finally, it reminds us that NEO isn't just another EV company, it's a force driving the entire industry forward. Without their relentless push into advanced software features, safety systems, and connected ecosystems, the pace of innovation across the EV world would be much slower. So, what do you think? Will NEO manage to overtake Tesla next year in the Gartner Index? And do you believe software truly is the deciding factor for who wins the EV race? Share your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear your perspective. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more stock predictions and market insights. Remember to turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. Happy investing and see you in the next video.